Your games have suddenly started crashing, your screen keeps flickering, or your PC randomly freezes or reboots, you're not alone. Today, I'm going to walk you through a simple and effective way to fix many of the issues that users have been experiencing with recent NVIDIA GPU drivers. We're going to completely remove your existing graphics driver and replace it with a clean, stable version. This could be either an older version that worked better or the latest update that may already have fixed your specific issue. Who should use this guide? Before we get into the steps, let me be clear. If your system is currently stable and you're not having any performance issues, there's no need to follow this guide. Don't fix what isn't broken, but if you've noticed, black screens during boot or while gaming, flickering or visual artifacts, games crashing to desktop or crashing your whole system, poor frame rates or stuttering that wasn't there before, then this guide might help you get your system back to a stable state. Step one, download the right NVIDIA driver. Start by opening your browser and heading over to NVIDIA's official driver download page. You'll want to manually search for your GPU model and download either the latest game-ready driver or a more stable older driver. Here's how to check which GPU you have. Right-click your taskbar and open Task Manager. Go to the Performance tab. Scroll down to see your GPU listed on the left side. The top right corner of that section will tell you exactly which NVIDIA GPU. Now go back to the NVIDIA driver page. Select GeForce under product type, pick your series, choose your exact model, select your operating system and language. Click search to view available drivers. You'll see the latest driver listed at the top. If you're experiencing issues with this version, scroll down to find an older, more stable version. For most users, version 566.36 is a solid fallback if you're on a 40 series card. For newer cards like the RTX 50 series, use the oldest available driver for your GPU on the page. Once you've picked your driver, click download and save the file to your desktop. Step 2. Download Display Driver Uninstaller DDU. Now that we're prepping for a clean graphics driver installation, it's important to remove your existing drivers the right way. Simply uninstalling them through Device Manager or Windows Settings often leaves behind leftover files, registry entries, or corrupted settings. That's where Display Driver Uninstaller, or DDU, comes in. It's a trusted tool specifically designed to remove every trace of your GPU drivers. Here's how to get it. Open your browser and search for Display Driver Uninstaller. Make sure you're downloading it from a trusted source, either Wagnersoft, the official site, or Guru3D, which also mirrors the official files. Once you're on the page, scroll down until you see the download section. You'll usually have the option to grab a portable zip file or a traditional installer version. The portable version is most convenient. Just download the zip, extract it to a folder, preferably on your desktop, and you're ready to go. Make sure you don't run it yet. We'll be booting into safe mode first and the next step to use it properly. DDU works best when Windows is running in safe mode, where fewer background processes can interfere with the uninstall process. Step 3. Temporarily disable your internet connection. Before we run DDU and remove the current graphics driver, it's very important to temporarily disconnect your internet. Why? Because Windows tends to auto-install a generic or outdated GPU driver the moment it notices one is missing, and that can interfere with the clean install we're aiming for. If you're connected via Ethernet, this is easy. Simply unplug the cable from the back of your PC or router. If you're on Wi-Fi, follow these steps to disable it manually. Right-click the Wi-Fi or network icon in your system tray, bottom right corner. Click Network and Internet Settings. Scroll down and select Advanced Network Settings. Under Network Adapters, find your Wi-Fi or Ethernet adapter, depending on what you use. Click on it, then hit Disable. This will prevent Windows from downloading and reinstalling any drivers in the background while we're working. Once the new driver is installed later, we'll turn your internet back on. Step 4. Reboot into Safe Mode. To ensure the cleanest removal possible, you need to run Display Driver Uninstaller DDU, from Safe Mode. This special boot mode loads only the essential system services and drivers, which helps avoid conflicts during the uninstallation process. Here's how to restart your system into safe mode. Click the Start menu in the bottom left corner of your screen. Hold down the Shift key on your keyboard, then click Restart. You'll find it by clicking the power icon. Your PC will now boot into a blue recovery menu. From here, select Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, followed by Startup Settings. Once you're in the Startup Settings screen, click Restart again. When the options appear, press the number 4 on your keyboard. This selects Safe Mode without networking, which is all we need for DDU to work properly. Give your PC a moment 
it will boot into a more stripped down desktop environment. You're now ready to safely run DDU in the next step. Step 5. Uninstall the current driver using DDU. Now that you're in safe mode, it's time to remove your current GPU driver completely using Display Driver Uninstaller DDU. This step is crucial. It ensures there are no leftover files, broken registry entries, or conflicting settings that could affect your fresh installation later. Here's how to do it properly. Open the folder where you extracted DDU earlier. Right-click on Display Driver Uninstaller.exe and select Run as Administrator. Once DDU launches, it may prompt you with a warning or some startup tips. Read them briefly, then proceed. On the right-hand side of the interface, select GPU from the Device Type drop-down menu. Below that, make sure your GPU brand NVIDIA is selected. DDU will automatically detect it in most cases. Now click the top option. Clean and restart. DDU will now begin removing everything related to your current NVIDIA driver, display drivers, registry entries, system files, and any leftover profiles. When it's done, your system will automatically reboot into normal mode. Step 6. Install the new NVIDIA driver. Now that you're back in Windows, double-click the NVIDIA driver file you downloaded earlier. If asked, choose to install only the graphics driver, not the full NVIDIA app. You can add that later if needed. Click Agree and Continue, then choose Express Installation. Your screen might flicker during the process. That's totally normal. When the installation is done, hit Close. Step 7. Restore NVIDIA settings. Once the driver is installed, right-click on your desktop and open NVIDIA Control Panel. Go to Change Resolution and set your display's native resolution, e.g. 1080p, 1440p, 4K. Set your monitor's maximum refresh rate, click Apply. If you use advanced features like G-Sync, DSR, or custom color settings, feel free to restore them now. Step 8. Reconnect to the Internet. Now that everything is set up, reconnect your Ethernet cable or go to Network and Internet Settings, Advanced Network Settings, and re-enable your adapter. You should be back online within a few seconds. Now, launch your games and check if the problems you were facing, crashes, black screens, poor FPS, are gone. Remember the screenshots or photos you took of your in-game settings earlier? Use those to restore your custom configurations. If this guide helped, or if you're still troubleshooting, drop your system specs, GPU model, and which driver worked or didn't for you in the comments. It might help someone else out too. And if your PC is running smoothly now and you want to get the best possible performance from your GPU, Check out the performance optimization playlist linked in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.